Hey guys, what's up? First 7 Response here, bringing you guys Augmenting Your Game Halo 4 Edition. Today we are talking about specializations in Halo 4, and I know some of you guys are going to be thinking, what are specializations and what is Halo 4? Well, besides uh, explaining what Halo 4 is, specializations are, after you reach SR50, you will unlock a special program where you go through another 10 levels, you unlock some cool looking armor, and some new perks to help you cater towards your playstyle. So, without further ado, let's get right into the perks. The first perk we're going to get is the wet work one and it's going to allow you to have faster assassinations quicker and quieter movement and you're gonna be less visible when the enemy is using Promethean vision definitely helpful if you're a stealthy kind of player tracker my personal favorite is going to allow you to reroll your ordnance drop so let's say you get something like an overshield a needler and some sticky grenades you can reroll that and possibly get a rocket launcher that's something that I've been using a lot you don't see in this game by the way it's a SWAT gameplay 30 kills hope you guys enjoy that in the background the next we're gonna have stalker stalker is going to allow you to have a, uh, it's going to allow you to see the opponent that last killed you by giving them a little icon over their head if you guys play flood or infection and you see the last man standing it's going to be similar to that so you're going to be able to get that revenge kill that much quicker earn more points and get your ordnance drops faster rogue rogue is my second favorite out of the bunch is less flinch when shot in past halo games you would eventually zoom out if you're shot if you're using a scoped weapon like the br or sniper but in this game you just flinch and in my opinion rogue really does give you a leg up on the competition Next, we're going to go to Engineer, and Engineer, you're going to see where the Ordnance is going to drop and when. That is a really cool ability, especially if you're playing something like Big Team and your team's getting smacked by Mantis. It really helps to know when the next Spartan Laser or Rocket Launcher is coming up. Definitely helpful if you guys like knowing where all the power weapons are going to be. Next, we're going to go to Pathfinder. Pathfinder is another really cool specialization that I use to get some really rare gear. It's going to allow you to have less overheat time with the turret, and it's going to allow you to move faster so you can strafe, and you're not just kind of standing there just getting pegged by some guy across the map with the DMR. Extremely effective if you like using turrets, because the turrets I know aren't the greatest, but they can definitely help your team in a pinch. Next, we're going to go to Operator, and Operator's for those guys that love to drive vehicles. Plasma pistols will have a less effect on you, so you won't stall for as long, and vehicles repair over time. That is crucial, especially if you're a really good driver and gunner. If you guys play big team battle, you'll know how well a good driver and gunner can really tear up your team, especially in something like the Goss Hog. It's just absolutely insane. If you're a driver, definitely pick Pat Operator. And then finally, we're going to go to Pioneer, and this is like, this is the simplest one to sum up, it's ranking up fast. It's going to give you a perk that allow you to gain, like, not double XP, but more like one and a half XP. So, again, really effective perk, I would use it if, I generally use it last, but you know, that's just kind of my personal opinion. And I am going, and you know what, let's go over the top three, in my opinion, the top three, depending on the game mode, I'm going to go by game mode. The most effective ones definitely gotta be Rogue, because that's always working for you no matter what game mode you're in. You're not relying on ordnance, you're relying sta straight on your BR, DMR, light rifle, that kind of thing. It's definitely a great perk to have no matter what, it's definitely all around one of the best. Next, I'm gonna have to go with Tracker because Ordnance plays such a huge role in Halo 4 that I just love re-rolling stuff. Like, my favorite class right now in Halo 4 is Ordnance Priority, which is like Hardline, and then um, the Tracker ability, which allows me to re-roll it. So I can get a bunch of Ordnance drops really fast, just keep the other team on its heels, and I can keep getting my power weapons as fast as possible. And then the final one, I would probably have to go with something like Operator. Operator, I enjoy driving vehicles i don't know if you guys do but me personally i really do in driving them and nothing cock blocks me more than getting stalled in between four or five red guys and they all have sticky detonators and plasma grenades and they just fuck my day right up so guys as always my name's r7 we're gonna leave on a bit of news the halo 2 pc servers will be shutting down on the d i think it said february the 15th a sad day in pc gaming Halo 2, I know a lot of you probably didn't play it, but Halo 2 was one of those defining games, and it was my first Halo, so it will be sadly missed. Also, January 29th, we get a Crisis 3 beta. Look for uh, footage over there on my channel, R7 Response. Link in the description down below. As always, guys, my name's R7. Yowsh, damn it. Yowsh. This is it.
Marines, let's get them!